Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here at SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. Welcome to my stamp world. I'm so glad you're here with me tonight. Uh, I wanted to take a minute to thank each and every one of you for making and sending handmade cards. Together, we're making the world a kinder place. So thank you for all that you are doing. Um, I hope I can give you a little creative inspiration. I get a lot of creative inspiration from you, which is why we do a little bit of interactive on our videos. And um, I have you help me decide on some of the products. A lot of times, I don't know what the card's going to look like until we make it. Uh, but tonight, um, you sent one today. Yay, Leslie. <laughs> um, but tonight, I do know the card, but we might just we might change it up a little bit. So I posted a picture of the project we're making um, in my uh, Facebook group this morning, the Sue Stampfield Facebook group. Anyone's welcome to join that and hang out with us. Um, just search for Sue Stampfield on Facebook and request to join the group and I'll pop you in. Um, wanted to let you know that I'm, <laughs> I'd intended to get the project sheet email out on Thursday, but it didn't happen, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So very, very soon tomorrow, maybe Monday. Hey, Patty, how are you? Um, so hang tight. Well, we're, we're going to get there. Um, if you are not currently subscribed to the project sheets and you would like some um, inspiration in your inbox, I welcome you to, to go to SueStampfield.com, click on subscribe, and you can get all signed up for those. Um, I also wanted to mention it's my 26th anniversary as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. 26 years, like what? That went by so fast. <laughs> so I wanted to celebrate with you. So I have a gift for purchase I'm offering this month. If you place a $75 order, you get the little uh, Sue Stanfield Found It magnetic dish. This one uh, uh, has got a uh, um, banner die in it. Now, did you see how it kind of slid down a little bit? This one has been used a lot, um, so it's curved a little bit. So in my magnetic dish, it might be better to put it face down, um, but it still stays in there really good considering um, how curved it is because I have used this little guy just a ton. Um, and of course, just any of your little dies. And this will hopefully help us get a little more organized because I struggle with that a lot. Um, having these little magnetic dishes uh, are going to keep little dies from getting lost on your table. Shout out to um, Ashley Carlson. She's one of my team members. She and her husband have a company called um, the, the, oh my gosh, come on Sue. Hang on, the Country Hive. <laughs> And Ashley, uh, they make these dishes, and so I ordered a whole bunch in the purple and the, the Sue Stampfield colors, and I customized them with the Sue Stampfield Found It sticker so that you can, um, you know, hang on to your dies. Uh, if you place $50 order, you're also going to qualify for Craftoon. So it's all good. Um, so tonight we are going to create um, with the uh, delicate, is that right, Jennifer? It's the doily. I have the number here and everything. Maybe we should just switch to the desktop. Let me know while we switch what's in your cup tonight. Tonight I have, well, it goes this way. <laughs> tonight I have um, citrus ginger sparkling water in my cup. Let me know what's in yours. We play a little found it game here at Sue Stanfield. I lose stuff always. And so when we find it again, I say found it and we all take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what is in your cup. And let's let's go down to the desk here. Water, ginger ale, Pepsi, all the things, all the good things. Uh, I gotta click the right button. Aha, hurrah. Um, so they are hologram stickers, so they look really rainbowy in these lights, but they're um, they're not that rainbowy in person. So um, let's set those aside. And I was going to grab, what was I gonna grab, friends? Oh yes, the name of the product we're using tonight. Aha, I found it. No, that's not it. Hang on. <laughs> Found it for real this time. Take a sip, everyone. Woohoo! Mm. Oh, so good. So refreshing. So, uh, coffee with cream, Coke Zero, mango peach water enhancer. Awesome. So, we're going to use the Delicate Doily Hybrid. The Delicate Doily Hybrid, it, you get uh, a lot for your money. So you get a 3D embossing folder, which is right here. Gorgeous. And then you also get four dies. And we're going to do some creating tonight. So let's get started. This um, 
the delightful doily hybrid is in the annual catalog it's pictured in two spots and even still it's uh, easy to overlook so it's in with the embossing folders it's also in with the dies so you can find it on 163 and on 168. Uh, so in last oh i had another card where's that one at hang on hold on i gotta grab a card mm. Oh, the phone. I forgot to grab one. Ah, here it is. Found it. I found it. I found it. Take a sip, everyone. Hmm. So, of course, you can just use the embossing folder, like an embossing folder. So, that's what I did on this card. This was from uh the june crafternoon uh fun fold card. This was the um the book jacket fold. So you can see some of that doily there, some of it here, and some of it on the front. Doilies are really great with uh, cards that have like beverages or snacks on them. It kind of uh, goes along with that, that theme. Um, so again, Crafternoon, if you place a $50 order, you get a packet to make our unique fun fold of the month. Um, so if you place an order in, what month are we? August, you'll get the September Crafternoon packet. Last month's Crafternoon, this was the make and take um, for July. This is the, your slip is showing fun fold because on this card, the inside pokes out. And then when you flip it open, um, it pops out like that. Um, but the dies on here are the Dainty Delight dies. So we're going to use those tonight as well on our card. So let's go back to the Delightful Doily. Sometimes I want to call it Delicate Doily. I'm not sure why. I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 26 years. I'm guessing it's probably because... <laughs> it's probably because um, we had one called that at some point. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. And let's uh where do i want to start mm. i think we'll make our card base and then we'll decorate it how about that does that sound like a good plan let's go for that so i'm going to grab the die cutting machine and we'll start by doing a little embossing here all right so i have a four by five and a quarter piece of basic white and I'm going to grab my, my die cutting set up here for uh, um, 3D embossing. So I've got the platform number one and then the number four plate. So let's get our folder. I'll just pop that open. I'm just going to slide this back a little bit. Open this up. And I'm positioning this. So all these embossing folders have a, a line at the bottom. Can you see that if I move my fingers? Um, it's really useful when you're using um, embossing folders that have straight lines on them. This one doesn't, but it will allow me to center the doily in the, in the center. <laughs> I can center it in the center. How about that? All right, so let's do our embossing here. Let's just send that through. All right, so a couple in the comments, a couple of you are dealing with uh, teeth problems, a cracked tooth and tooth infection. That sounds really painful. I'm so sorry to hear that. Hope you heal quickly. Uh, and I also saw that Janine made granola today. That sounds delicious. All right, so there you can see that beautiful, elegant, I mean, it's just so pretty, right? It's just delightful. <laughs> All right, so we've got our delightful doily um, embossing folder used. Let's do a little die cutting here. So let me bring in the dies. Now there are different things that you can make with these dies. And over the next couple of videos, we'll be exploring those different things. Um, we might even do two tonight. We'll see how we go. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. And let's see, I'm going to put in this number one. Here is number two. And then number three, one, two, three. We're going to do some die cutting here. So I have a, just a piece of basic white here that is four by four. And this one is going to cut out that kind of a doily shape. So you have got lots of different um, options with this particular set. 
that you can create with. And like I said, we'll explore those more in depth, but I'm gonna give you a couple ideas off the bat here. So there you can see we have a doily shape and I'm gonna pop this back on the magnet over here. Does it matter which way you put the folder through? I think they do say, oh, you guys help me out. You guys are, are better at, at this kind of stuff than I am. I think they say to put the, um, the fold through first. Am I right on that? Um, gonna ask the experts here in the comments. Um, and then I'm gonna open up the folder and I'm gonna place this inside. Now, typically uh, with these um, doily hybrid embossing folders, okay, you guys, hang on, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta rotate here and I'm, um, I can't see, so I have to pull it off the camera just so I can see, sorry about that. Um, so I'm just lining it up. Let's see if I can hold it. Oh, it's not focusing. Come on, camera. Got to trick the camera to focusing. Can you see I've lined up this shape with that doily shape? Um, now, often with these uh, hybrid and folders, they're actually made where you can put the die right in the folder, put the paper through, and then die cut and emboss at the same time. When you do that, you will get a, like kind of cut marks inside your embossing folder. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know why it bugs me. <laughs> so I like to do it separately. Um, I'll, I'll have to get brave here and, and give it a try. I have tried it with some other ones and it just makes this like cutting mark in the folder. Um, this folder I can tell I'll be using a lot just as a folder in addition to with the dies. So I just really didn't want that. So let's see what it looks like now that we've embossed it. So we're gonna open it up and you can see I hope you can see on the camera that gorgeous embossing. So we now have this beautiful doily. Now, as I said, there are other dies in here and this one cuts a very, um, like a kind of a laser cut looking doily for just a different look. We're gonna go with this one tonight, keeping it really quick and easy. And let's put this down. All right, we're gonna do a little more die cutting in a minute, but before we do that, we need to do some stamping. So let's do that. We've got building our card here. And we're actually gonna make our card landscape direction. Sorry, I jiggled the camera there. Um, so I've got my card base here. Let's, I'm gonna set the bossing folder over there so that I can lose it for later. Ha, huh? just kidding, just kidding. Would I lose stuff? No. All right, so we are gonna use, as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna use the Dainty Delight stamp set and the Dainty Delight dies. Now these came out last spring. They're no longer bundled. You can purchase them separately. A lot of people um, got these <laughs> last spring. So there's a good chance you might have it already in your stash because it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna use the um, Tuxedo Black Memento um, ink ink here because we're going to do a little coloring with the Stampin' Blends. And I'm just inking up my flower there. I inked the heck out of it, didn't I? So we're going to go ahead and stamp this right there. And we will be die cutting this out, but we're going to color it with the Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to show you the card that we're making. So this is the one that I initially made and I used the um, bubble bath blends and soft sea foam for our flowers because, and then I had this bubble bath ribbon. Now this particular ribbon, it's the 3 8 uh, sheer ribbon combo pack. It actually comes with three colors. So I wanted to ask you all what color we should make our card. Um, separate would save the folder. You saw one that was really cut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so these are the three, I love these ribbons, you guys, they are absolutely beautiful sheer ribbons. They've got a little bit of a silver metallic thread running on each side. Absolutely gorgeous. So for this card, I used bubble bath, but we also have lemon lolly here. So we could do yellow roses instead of pink, or we have the azure afternoon. So we could do blue roses and do this for our ribbon. So let me know in the comments if you want pink, yellow, or blue for our roses tonight. And while you are voting, I'm gonna slide those back out of the way and I'm gonna go ahead and fold my card base here. 
and stamp my greeting. And then I'll check and see what color we're doing tonight. Oh, okay. Oh, found it. <laughs> found my bone folder. This is one of Ashley's other little um, other things that she sells. It's just a little uh, desk caddy. So it's got a slanted spot for your seal, spot for your glue dots. So you can even roll out here. I don't have mine set up that way. A slot, and I've got my ruler falling out of it. Um, yeah, all the things. So maybe, just maybe, that will keep me a little more organized. So that's, again, from the uh, Country Hive. All right. So we've got our card base there. Let's see what our friends are saying tonight. Ooh, goodness. I'm seeing a lot of yellow. I'm seeing some blues. Oh, man, I think, boy, there's, oh, it's really, it's really close, you guys. It's really close. So I, people on Facebook are voting and people on YouTube are voting. So whatever, depending where you're watching, you're not seeing all the votes, you're seeing half of them. Um, well, you're probably right, Janine, that blue roses maybe don't occur in nature, but although they, they have all sorts of hybrid things that they do these days, but we're not in nature, right? This is art. <laughs> so we can take creative a license and it doesn't necessarily have to match, right? Um, so I think yellow is squeaked out the win here. So you think we need to make two cards, Virginia? Mm, I like the way you think. You know what? Let's, let's, I, I do happen to have another flower here that I colored. So why don't we color them both? Maybe we just need to see it and decide. This blue might be too bright. I don't know. Um, let's see what we think. So I uh, do have a lot of votes for pink as well. I'm also keep bumping into the embossing folder, which is not making me happy. All right. So these, this is the, I'm not sure the lemon lolly is pretty light. You guys, we might have to use daffodil, but let's, let's start with the lemon lolly and see what we think. Um, this is the lemon lolly dark, just adding a touch of dark, the base of the little, um, buds flower buds. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to take the, oh, missed one, missed one over here. Pull that up because I'm kind of feel like I'm really far away here. In fact, I can just lower this down and then we're going to take the light lemon lolly. This is the light one, right? Yep. Light lemon lolly. And color that in. You can either start with the dark first. You can start with the light and add the dark after. You can um, go back and forth. Like I might go back and add just a touch more of the dark after I get these colored here. Um, all right. See if I can add just a little more, a little darkness in the middle. You know, I'm not getting the shading I quite want. I'm going to step it up. I'm going to bump it down, make a big difference. This is the dark daffodil. So this is a lot darker than the lemon lolly. But the beauty with the Stampin' Blends is they all blend together. Okay, that's giving me more contrast. The the others in this particular flower just didn't give me enough of the light and darks that I was looking for. So you can mix and match your, your Stampin' Blends to get the color that you want. Uh, oh, you saw some Black Eyed Susans today, Paula? Yeah, they're really blooming a lot here. Okay, so we've got that one. Um, let's try the Azure Afternoon. Now, this is a pretty bold blue. Wow, yeah, that's really dark. All right, hang on a second. I'm gonna just grab our tool here. And if I find my Azure Afternoon, I'm wondering what other blues it maybe goes with. Well, pool party, that's gonna be too light. And look at Tahitian Tide here. And maybe, let's see what balmy blue would look like. Actually, that's boho blue. Could mix and match those together. 
seems a bit, this is the light one and it's a little dark. So I'm going to just add the light Azure Afternoon. And then I think I'm going to go with some Boho. See what we think. So it's pretty dark. Boho Blue, where are you? Oh, sorry, bump the camera again. This is Boho Blue Light. Found it. Take a sip, everyone. Yeah, that's kind of dark, too. Not, not wild about that. Go back to the Azure. It's They're very different blues. The Boho Blue is a little bit more of a gray blue, I would say. And this one is a bit brighter. So we're going to do it a different way. We're going to color this in. I'm just going to go right over the boho. And then I'm going to go in with my color lifter. And I'm going to lighten the color up a little bit. Okay, I think I got them all. This one I think can either be a leaf or a flower. <laughs> I'll make it a flower I did on the other one. Be consistent. I think I did on the pink one as well. Um, so I don't know. Do you think that's too bright? We could try to lighten it up a little bit. I keep bumping my camera. Goodness. Um, makes you think of forget me nots. Yeah. Yeah. I was brought up calling them brown eyed Susans as well. Uh, but a lot of people know them as, as black eyed Susans. So I'm going to just lighten them up a little bit in the center with this base. All right, got that. And then on my, again, on the bubble bath version, I used a soft sea foam for the leaves. So let's give that a try. Here it is. Let's see. I might want something a little bit darker. No, I think that's fine. I'm using the dark soft sea foam here. Just get those little leaves. This is, this is not a lot of coloring. It's like a little brush stroke <laughs> and you're done on each leaf because they're pretty tiny. And don't worry if you go outside the lines a little bit, that just adds shading, right? Or you can go in with that color lifter if it's uh, really bugging you and you can lift that color off. It does kind of remind me of forget-me-nots or, um, oh, I can't remember. I've got, I've got some bluish purple flowers in my front garden right now. They're little teeny tiny things. They usually go in a pot and they kind of trail over the edge of the, uh, the planter. I actually put them in the ground, which was maybe not the best idea, but they're pretty. <laughs> they're just kind of getting choked out by the impatience. All right. So we've got our leaves colored there. Oh, I'm, I'm liking that blue one more and more, actually. Thank you for sharing, Cindy. That's very kind of you. All right. So let's let's cut them out. What do you think, friends? Let's stick with these up. All right. Throw the markers over there. Just pitch them out of the way, Sue. All right. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, oh, you know what? You're going to have to clear the deck a little bit so I can get the die cutting machine in here. And I'm going to have to raise this back up. All right. Here we go. Let's see if I can get it in the shot. I can. All right. So we've got this one. Pick one. And then let's grab these dies. So this is that long stem that we die cut this with. So pretty. It does even have like a brown eyed Susan type uh, daisy flower in there. It has a whole bunch. Uh, but we're looking for. I think it's this one, I believe. Let's double check. Aha! We found it. So I don't know if you can tell, there's at the base here, there's two little dots. If you line this up so that you can see the black tips of the stems in those dots, then you know that you're you're in the right spot. The rest of it's you know a little easier to line up because you can see the edges of the flowers and the leaves. 
um, but the stems are a little tricky. So that's why they give you those two little dots so that you can um, just make sure you can see the, the, whatever the stem color is through those dots. And then you can stick it down so it doesn't shift on us. No, I think that was right. Okay, um, let's put the top plate on and cut this out. All right, cranking it through here. All right, now we need to do it again because we got a blue one. Oh, so pretty. Yellow Rosa, Texas. Where are my Texas people? So pretty. Okay, let's now let's try this one. And all right. <laughs> You'd be doing good if you saw those dots. Uh, you know, I I feel your pain. I'm I have horrible eyesight, so um, it's the contrast of the white and dark is is easier to see than some other little tiny things at least. So like tiny print. <laughs> All right, let's send that through. You don't actually have to read it. You just have to see that see it there. Oh my goodness, what is my problem bumping the camera tonight? Too many Christmas. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Right. Pop that back in the sleeve. Dan was born and right. Blue bonnet, Texas. Blue bonnets in Texas. Oh, blue bonnets. Yeah, true. All right, there we go. Okay. They're both. They're both pretty. How are we ever going to pick? We might have to make two cards. All right. <laughs> so well, let's, let's put our card together here. Oh, we need a word, Sue. Yes, we do. All right. Hang on. All right. I have a little piece of basic white here. Mm, Jennifer, what is the size of that? It's like three quarter inch by something. I had a ruler. <laughs> I had a ruler. Oh, there it is. Found it. It was hiding. It was hiding. Take a sip, everyone. Ah, three quarter by two inches. Mm. And then I'm going to use a greeting right out of the same stamp set, the Dainty Delight. I'm going to use Celebrate You. And ink that up in the tuxedo black. All right, that looks pretty inky. Now to pull it towards me so that I can attempt to get it straight. <clears throat> yeah, not too bad. All right, so we've got our celebrate you there. I am going to take my snips and stab myself. No, 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 no blood tonight. That's not good for cards. And I'm going to cut just in the center, make a little snip. So I just made a little snip in the center. And I'm going to go from the corner here, the point, to that um, that little slit I cut to the side of it. And it's going to make a little banner flag. Now you can make this deeper. I'm going to go just a hair deeper. So this is if you don't have a die that cuts a banner shape. And you have a pair of scissors. This is a great way to do it. Come on. <laughs> you got to cut the paper, Sue. It doesn't want to come out if you don't cut it. Okay, there we go. All right. And then we got, we're making two cards. So I'm going to do another one on this big old piece of paper and I'm going to die cut it. We can see which one we like better, right? So I am going to grab the what are these the stylish shapes dies ah yes the stylish shapes dies some of them are missing because i put them in the tray <laughs> i don't want that one i want this one and then i can put this little one back too this is the one that's kind of been up because it's been used a lot but this one's a little bit bigger so this would be the right shape for that so this one is going to give me that same banner look but it is going to give me some stitching. Either is fine. Like they both look good, right? Options. All about options. So since we're making two cards, ooh, let's get this one cut, shall we? All right. So, all right. There we 
we have that. Oh, it's going to move on me. I can tell. I am going to grab a post-it note. And I am going to lock this baby in place. All right. How about right there? Okay. Let's send that through. Just stab myself with your take my take your pick tool. <laughs> Okay, I, it's it's not drawing blood though, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna raise this up a little bit so I can crank. All right, there we go. Woohoo! All right, let's see how fast we can make two cards. Friends. Can we do it? All right, so I've got that right there. So it's just a little different look. This one's a little bit wider and thicker. This one's a little bit narrower. All right, so pop that over here. Put it in my could have put it in my little magnetic dish. Okay, so let's do our card here. So put my adhesive on this so that I can attach my embossed piece. A little more here. Sorry, I didn't get it straight. Or I shouldn't say not straight. I, I got more of a gap at the top than the bottom. That was bugging me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so there we have our gorgeous card base. Here's our uh, doily. And I'm actually going to just pop it up right over the one on the, the base here, covering that one up. So where are my dimensionals? Here they are, right where they belong. Found them. Take a sip, everyone. All right, we're going to flip that over and I'm going to put three right down the middle and one on each side like so. You could um, you could do this flat. I really like that extra dimension, that little extra lift. Um, adds a lot of dimension to your card, hence the name. And one more here. All right, and I'm just going to line this up right in place. So pretty, right? And then we've got two options. So we've got our blue bonnet option. Let's grab a little bit of this beautiful ribbon. Again, 3 8 inch sheer combo pack, it's called, and you get three rolls in the in the package in pink, yellow, and blue. I grab, I keep a pair of my paper snips um, with a, the ones that have the ribbon on them. I keep those reserved only for cutting ribbon because it's um, easy to get uh, sticky residue on your crafting scissors, as I'm sure you know, and then it gets very hard to cut ribbon. So there is our bright, happy blue card. That's what that looks like. Let's take a look at what our lemon lolly version looks like. Right here. Right here. And that's my yellow ribbon. We'll do them both, but which one do you, do you guys still, are you still um, feeling good with your color that you picked before? Or let me know now whether it's yellow or blue. And we'll look at all three when we're done here with the pink one that I already made. Right? All right. Let's get this cut. I like a, I just tie a knot and then I cut the little tails really short at an angle. If you leave them too long, it does kind of take away from the project. So keep them nice and short. So there is the yellow version. <gasps> wow. Okay, they're both really pretty. Blue has a lot of pop. Let's do the blue one first. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> All right. So, oh my gosh. All right. 
I got a, I got a little idea in mind for the um, the other one. Now I I am a big fan of dimensionals, so I'm going to pop up this as well. I'm going to use some mini dimensionals. If you don't have many dimensionals, you could cut regular dimensionals in half. That would work as well. Um, I'm going to do a couple little ones and then I actually, I'll just do all. You could fit a couple big ones on here as well. But with the minis, you get um, you get a lot in the package. So um, I'll just go with those. OK, so I've got my blue. You can can you see how the when you color it with the ink, it, it does bleed through. That's what's supposed to happen. And I did. I forgot to mention, I did actually use the thick basic white for this. I do like for coloring on the blends. I like the thick a little bit better than the, the basic. You can use both. All right, let's pull these up. Last one. I should be using my take your pick tool. That would make it so much easier, right? And we'll just set that right there. Oh, so pretty. All right, and then we'll do our little uh, banner flag here. Might as well put a dimensional on that too. What the heck? While we're at it. You still like the yellow? Okay, no worries. We're going to get that done too, but we might. Do something. We might change that one up just a little bit. All right, so there we have our blue. We can add our little blue ribbon right here. Azure afternoon roses or flowers. I mean, they're actually actually they're. I don't know that they are roses. Um, they they look a little bit like a wild rose maybe, but we're gonna make this one be um, blue bonnet. Is that what you called? I have no idea what a blue bonnet looks like. Not a clue. Does not grow in Minnesota, to my knowledge, because um, I think it's a it's a warm. I think it prefers warmer climates than our cold win Minnesota winters here. All right, so we're gonna pop that into place now. On this one, on the pink one, I added some embellishments. I did the iridescent um, rhinestones. All right, hang on, I just got a little glue dot struggle here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so should we add embellishments to this card? Yes or no? While well, you're telling me, I better open my drawer up just in case the answer is yes. I'm thinking that maybe the, um, so these are the iridescent basic uh, pearls and they have a bit of a, uh, a bluish hue to them. So blue bonnets or lupine could be. We do have lupines in Minnesota. You're absolutely, uh, you're absolutely true. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of yeses for the pearls. All right, let's do it. So we're gonna go one here. Oops, <laughs> put you here. And I'll do a little one up here. And let's do another big one over here. All right, just as a little bit of sparkle there. It's still pretty subtle. So there's two cut ones, but hey, we've got this yellow flower hanging out here. Yellow roses. Let's uh, let's make a card out of this. Okay, so I happen to have another card base. It has a teeny bit of ripped paper on it here, but I, I'm hoping I can, I don't know, can I get around that? <laughs> If, ugh, let's see if I can just rip it off. Eh. All right, we might need to start from scratch. Okay, before we do that, I am looking for, ah, found it, okay. <laughs> so this was the flower, or the flower, the da doily, oh my gosh, you guys, I almost said daisy. All right, this was the doily die that we used for this one, and then we embossed it with the embossing folder. But there is another one in here that we might want to try for this card. Oh, are you kidding me? Why can I not find it? All right, that's fine. We will just, we will just, I just had it. Oh my goodness. Seriously. <laughs> All right, we're just going to cut one because Susan loses things. All right, so we're going to try um, stepping it up on this card a little bit. So let's bring in all our things here. So instead of doing this doily, we're going to try cutting this one. 
what do you guys think? I think it might add a nice little extra dazzle to the yellow flower, which is a little bit more muted than our blue ones. So let's see what we think. All right, I'm gonna bring in the die cutting machine again. All right. I'm going to die cut this one. So this was the one we used initially. We just got the shape and then we embossed it, right? This one, let's see what this makes. All right, did anybody see what I did with my other plates? Ah, found it. <laughs> it's on the bottom of the stack. Oh my heavens. All right, this is a very detailed die. I am putting it over to the left side because the rollers on the sides of the machine um, have more pressure than in the center, okay? So I'll put it over here on the left and I'll send it through. Crunch, right? gosh I just threw some off my desk I don't even know what it was I think it was the whole set of dice oh my gosh I'm wild tonight you guys I am out of control all right and then this might have cut beautifully I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to send it through again on the other side this is a, again a very detailed die if your machine has seen a lot of use and you send it right down the middle there's a good chance it may not cut in the center of the um, thing what the heck did I throw off the yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and now I threw this one on the floor. Woohoo! Honestly, it's the sparkling water in my cup. Honestly, you guys, believe me, it's true. Okay, so here we have this. I'm going to grab my um, take your pick tool that has the diverse attachment in it. And I'm just going to roll out all these little bits, little extra confetti. Just add to my... <laughs> Let's just make it as messy as possible tonight, okay? Woohoo! <laughs> All right. We are having a party tonight. Oh my goodness. Throwing the confetti, making the things. All right. Let's get these guys out and these guys out. All right. And you know, you know what we're going to do next, right? All right. So this is beautiful, right? Super pretty, but we can emboss it and we could even make it better, right? All right, let's do it. So we're going to set this all aside. <laughs> trying to not dump that on my floor because yeah, it's a little messy. Now, did I throw the embossing folder? I don't think I did. I think I see it over here. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't even know where that went. It's got to be under my chair because I'm not seeing it. But we don't need it, so it doesn't matter. I'll get it later. I'll get it later. It can just hang out there. All right, so embossing folder. I'm going to open it up again. I like to hold on to the front. Sorry, I'm using a ring light tonight, so it does tend to... Um, get in the way a little bit. And so I just have to find the sweet spot there. There it is. And I just slide it around until I have it in place. <laughs> I've got it where you guys can see it really good and I can't, which is not optimal. You might have to tell me move left, move right. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. So I'm just gonna close it, keep it in the same general place and send it through. See how we look. And so now we have a gorgeous die cut embossed doily that's nice and thick. It's not like those wimpy ones that you get at the store that are really lightweight. It's good thick cardstock. Absolutely beautiful. I, the camera is not, uh, maybe the camera is picking up how gorgeous that is. Hopefully it is. All right, we're going to go ahead and emboss a, hang on, four. Five, five and a quarter. We're going to boss a four by five and a quarter. Sorry, I was talking and it was across the room. That really doesn't work out so well, does it? Well, not across the room, but you know, it's over at my paper cutter. All right. 
send that through and we'll make card number two. My gosh, are we gonna are we gonna be able to do it in under an hour? Let's find out. Totally would have if I had that one other card case. <laughs> totally could have done it. All right, here we go. Gorgeous. Set you all aside. And let's grab a handy dandy five and a half by eight and a half piece of basic white. Just gonna fold it in half. Some of you might prefer the thick white, totally fine. Um, but when I'm layering on another piece of basic white, I'm doubling up my cardstock. I feel like I don't necessarily need the thick because I've got double layers of cardstock. All right. And get this on. All right. I like to put, the, when it's an embossed piece, I do like to put the adhesive on the part that's not embossed. All right, so there we have a card base. And now we've got this doily, which is a little bit see-through-y. And so we can line it up as well. And then we've got our flower that we're gonna put on it right here and our words and all the things. So I am just going to look here and see where I can put some mini dimensionals. I might have to cut the mini dimensionals in half. Wouldn't be the first time. Let's see how we go. Looks like one would fit right here. And right here. Yeah, I think we'll be just fine but you can always cut them in half if you want. I might be overlapping just a little bit right here. All right. <laughs> All right, I think I got it on there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So again, I'll line it up with our embossing. So can you see that extra detail there? Wow. <laughs> it's a wow. And let's add our beautiful yellow rose to that. And then in our next video, we will play with the other two dies in this set, or at least one of them, because there's Fun things you can make with all of them, and they all, um, yeah, I'll show you what they all can do. All right, so let's pull this off. <laughs> I gotta push them down before I can pull them back off, right? So I can just get the papers that way. All right. You think the flower would be better in the center? Let me know if you you think this. Uh, let me know if you would like it in the center or off to one side. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna just lightly lay it there. Um, we will have our words coming in, but those could go it absolutely could go in the center. Let me know which one you would prefer, center or to one side. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see here. I might just leave this flat and not pop this up, actually. All right, I'm seeing votes for both, but just to be consistent, we'll put it on the side as well, like the other two, so that we can kind of compare them all, right? All right, so we're, there is our, our beautiful... Uh, doily, I don't know if we, I don't know that we even need embellishments on this one because we've got that uh, ornate doily and that's like its own big, huge, giant embellishment. Holy moly, guys, what did I do with the blue dots? I had them earlier. I oh, found them. Haha, <laughs> here they are. <laughs> Take a sip, everyone. Probably running out of your beverage by now. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get our glue dot on there. All right, let's look at all our cards. All right, so clear the deck. I've got some, the, 
very simple measurements on this card, but I do have them for you so that we can do a screenshot. So here we have the full on doily. <laughs> so that's the, the detailed one embossed. These dimensional papers are taking over my world. So that's our yellow one. Here is our Azure Afternoon one with a little help of some iridescent pearls. And this one is not the ornate, but like, I mean, they're both gorgeous, right? Like just absolutely beautiful. Either way is gorgeous. And then we have the pink one that I made beforehand. Actually, I made this, I did a presentation on this, um, this hybrid folder and a whole bunch of things you can do with it. And so I made it for that presentation. Let me pull up our dimensions here. And here we go. Pretty basic. We have a five and a half by eight and a half inch card base squared at four and a quarter. We have an embossed layer that's four by five and a quarter. And then to die cut the doily, I used a four by four piece, whether it was the, the, one that doesn't have the detail opening or the one that does either one same size four by four and then the grading on this one was three quarter by two this one it was just a scrap because i used a a, a die cut to do the banner so there are our cards i'm gonna flip the camera here so that i can whoops <laughs> oops <laughs> I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Oh my goodness. All right, let's let's move that. Let's go to over here. There we go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Quick reminder, if you want to sign up for the project sheet emails, you'll find those right here. Free project sheet emails. Um, I don't know. These might have to go on the project sheet emails. I, I like this card. So, and then I can show you all the different options in the project sheet. So, we might have to do that. All right. And then um, don't forget if you do place a order this month that is uh, $50, you'll get the Crafter Noon uh, packet for next month. If you order $75, not only the Crafter Noon packet, but you're also going to get my little anniversary gift with purchase. And that is the Found It Magnetic Dish so that you can keep your little dies in check. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, everyone. I hope you have a lovely rest of your weekend. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.